Good morning, John. I just had a few dozen little candy bars, John. I got some things I need to work out, so if you could just sit there for four minutes while I do that, that'd be great. Let's begin with a story. I used to live in a house that was in the backyard of another house, if that makes sense. My landlord had recently moved out of the front house and was renting it out to a new tenant. One day, I was hanging out in the backyard, my landlord was doing some yard work, and my uh, the new tenant, let's call him Heath, will call my landlord Snickers. So Heath has just arrived home. Snickers says, hey, did you pull up the, the flowers in the back garden? Heath is like, no, I didn't pull up any flowers. I pulled up some weeds back there. And Snickers says, oh, they were flowers. Heath disagrees. They were weeds. And then Snickers, I'm just sitting here watching awkwardly. Uh, Snickers says, those were the wildflowers that grew from the seeds that were thrown at my wife and I's wedding. And then Heath says, oh man, now you're just making me feel guilty. <laughs> I'm confused about guilt. I honestly am. Not like the legal status, I get that, but the emotion. Like, there are times in my life when I felt bad because I did something wrong. Even if I didn't mean to do the wrong thing, I did it, I felt bad about it, and hopefully that negative emotion will make me behave in better ways in the future. Like, Heath didn't know that he was, like, destroying something important when he did that. But he can still feel guilty about it. Like, if I accidentally knock an old lady over, I didn't mean to, I'm not like an old lady shover, but I still feel bad about it, right? And maybe because of that guilt, I will be more careful with my big old body in the future. Like saying, I didn't do it on purpose isn't the same as you didn't do it, like you did it, and so maybe in the future you can act in ways in which that thing won't happen again. So that's one thing, I get that kind of guilt. But then there's another thing where I feel like bad about something that I have that other people don't have. Like I got a book deal and my book is doing well and everybody's excited about it and lots of other people have written great books that didn't get published. Or, like the ultimate real life example, I never had student loans because my grandfather ran businesses and he was wealthy and I never had to worry about that. And I've always felt guilty about that because it's always been like present in my life. I've been very aware of it because while my family wasn't wealthy, we did have a safety net that none of my friends had when I was growing up. So then I'm experiencing this negative emotion and I didn't even do anything. Like it's not like I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do it. That doesn't seem fair, right? To feel guilty about a thing that I didn't do. And so I've, I've always thought there were like three ways to deal with that and I, I was wrong, but here they are. One, don't think about it, which is easier to do if you only hang out with people who are more like you, because then it just doesn't come up. Two, tell a story to yourself about yourself in which you deserve the wealth. Like you worked an unequal amount of hard and smart, and thus you have received an unequal amount of good things. Or three, feel guilty, because you don't deserve your advantages. Psychologists think that a small amount of guilt is good. It, it encourages people to behave in what they call pro-social ways. Like you think more about your community, you help people when they need help, you volunteer, you donate to charity, that kind of thing. But guilt is still unpleasant. You end up asking yourself whether it makes sense to feel guilty about a thing you didn't do. Like it's not my fault I was born with money in the bank. The answer is I think yes. Because no, you don't deserve the guilt in the same way you don't deserve the money. And I don't deserve ulcerative colitis or a healthy child or beautiful fall days or really funny internet memes. I don't deserve my guilt and I don't deserve the advantages I've been given because deserving is the wrong frame. I have that stuff and the question isn't what did I do to deserve it, it's what do I do with it? Do I take my guilt and let it weigh me down and terrify me and prevent me from ever feeling good? Or do I take my guilt and let it encourage me to do good th stuff with the advantages I've been given? Wasting energy feeling ashamed of something you didn't do? No. Recognizing the advantages you have and being motivated to use them to help people who weren't so lucky? Yeah. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.